Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today, you are seeing footage that I recorded at the developer's studio. Uh, Robert kindly invited me over to his uh, house to take a look and get hands-on at Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator for the first time. So at the moment, you're seeing the battle editor and the main menu screen. So I'm just kind of showing you how I'm moving around various units. And at the minute, we've got set up a battle which has around 27,000 characters, 20,000 of them being zombies, and around the other 7,000 being from the medieval variety. So at the moment, in this current build, there will be more in the final build, uh, there was just this one particular map. So we set up various scenarios and had some good old fun with a few beers, a few laughs, a lovely dog called Pippin, and of course, Ultimate Epic battle simulator. So here I'm panning over the force of 20,000 zombies. As you can see, it's performing so much better than we could ever hope to get on Total War in its current engine, I believe, unless they drastically change the technology. Uh, and we're taking a look at the forces. So I've, I've, I've thrown in uh, probably a couple of hundred catapults. And a feature that you'll see later on in this video is that Robert has now implemented a feature where the, if the zombie kills one of the footmen, that footman will then reanimate itself as a zombie. So that was a feature that was heavily requested in the initial video that I did. And the feedback to that was absolutely fantastic. So... All, to, all we had to do was to start the battle was, I believe, we pressed K, and then that sends the zombies charging at us. At the moment, there are two different uh, modes that the units can be in. That's attack or hold position. In the medieval force, they are holding position, whereas the zombies are coming to try and, well, zomb zombify them? Is that... Is that the word? I think it's zombify. So huge thanks to Robert for letting me capture this footage. Uh, this is me controlling the camera. So this isn't like the previous video where he'd already sent me the footage uh, pre-recorded. This is me controlling everything completely. I, I didn't encounter a crash throughout my playtime. We played for a few hours. So something that I was really impressed with was the fact that all of these arrows are individually rendered. So we're seeing thousands upon thousands of arrows go into the zombie positions and also we can see the catapults now firing into the zombies too. So the, the, the amount that's going on, I have no idea how it doesn't manage just to go down to two frames a second. Uh, Robert could try and explain the technology to me and, I, you know, I wouldn't get it. So <laughs> the... I don't know why I did, I don't know what I did here, but I decided to send a footman on a suicide attack. I think I wanted to show you the, kind of, the combat. Uh, so, in order to keep the frame rate a decent level, the amount of animations are restricted. But there we go, so my character died and the zombie appeared and is now attacking the main force. So the zombies are now starting to hit the line. Footman... Well, they're going to hold for the time being, but behind the footman I've implemented a layer of knights to help try and protect the archers. But just the scale of these battles, I am just... just oh, I can't get over how well the game runs. Although the... I think the maximum thread that this battle had, or the, ma like the maximum frame rate this battle had was about 30 frames a second, that is still probably a good 20 more frames than what you get playing on the Total War series. So here we go. I decided to do a panning shot just so we could see the scale of the battle. And I hold it here for a few seconds. And you can see in the centre of the line that the footmen are now starting to get a little bit hampered. So the archer attack isn't killing enough to stop the zombie horde. And where the footmen are now dying, they just reanimated in zombie form. So it's time for a panning shot down the line and we can see the centre. So here we can see that I have pressed V and then V1 and that gives me control of uh, the units surrounding us so we can kind of command them what to do. So anyone that's green 
I was commanding then. I did die rather quickly. And the zombies are now through to the knights. And they are about to finish off the footmen and now go charging straight into the catapults. So the catapults are auto-firing. They are sentient. You don't need to have a crew uh, firing with them. So you can see the devastation that we've wrought upon the enemy line. And somehow the zombies are still coming at us. So if you have any questions about the game, of course, let me know in the comments. And if you like the look of it, of course, leave the video a like. And please do make sure to check out uh, Robert's video. I believe he's also releasing one at the same time as I am. I'll leave a link in the description. So here we can see there's only a few zombies left. And this became quite a pain for me because they can't, like, the archers can't stand up against zombies. So for every one they kill, they're just getting reanimated themselves. So once again commanding a knight we well, just a few zombies uh, left to go we shouldn't find it too hard to finish off the remainder at least that's the hope but you can see <laughs> that they just keep uh, coming so despite the bombardment of everything on the positions uh, friendly fire is turned off and I don't believe that there was an option to turn it on which I guess kind of makes sense because the friendly fire would have probably absolutely destroyed any form of I guess like balance <laughs> the catapults could just devastate your own forces so I guess if you want to try out different builds then you really do need to kind of keep friendly fire off and maybe it's a feature the robot will turn on in the future I do not know. Feel free to ask him that on his channel or his various social media. So you can see that I'm now leading an attack with the knights to try and sort out this zombie horde. Because so we can't be having zombies taking out our troops. Well, any more than they have already. But I was hoping to save at least a few of the archers, but it isn't really happening. <laughs> so I'm going in hand to hand as well. As still assisted by the catapults. The catapults seem to manage to fend off their attacks. And you can see my HP bar down there. It does go down to absolute zero. So, once again, all the footage you're seeing here was all recorded uh, by myself. Uh, it was originally recorded at 4K resolution. However, my editing software doesn't seem to like 4K files. So, you're only seeing it in... 1080 unfortunately really looking forward to bringing you more of it upon release and here we can just see a panning shot of all the various zombies <laughs> that we killed today and the majority of our force was also turned into zombies too at the end of this video you might see a couple of other little clips that i've stuck in just to whet your appetite a little bit more won't be commentary over that but until next time everyone i bid you a very very good day <laughs>